Hello, welcome back to the bee vlog. I'm Bill. Today is going to be the last inspection. So today I'm going to be going through all of the hives and I'll do a little recap of what's been happening for each of the hives. So we're going to start out with Queen Beatrice here. She's a hive that I caught last year uh, in June. It was a swarm and they survived the winter and did very well throughout the spring and summer and brought in some honey. I was able to harvest a little bit of honey last month. Unfortunately, the weight seems to be dropping and I'm not sure exactly why. Last time I weighed them, they weighed about 130 pounds and now they weigh about 118 pounds. So I don't know if they've just been eating through their stores and not bringing anything in or if they've been getting robbed. But their population looks healthy, uh, looking from the outside. So I'm gonna take a look inside. I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom because uh, in the spring, the queen never started laying in the bottom box and I wanna see if they're actually using that bottom box or if it's just empty. Um, an abandoned comb. Yeah, this is just empty. There's nothing wrong with this comb. There isn't anything in it though. It's, um, there's no wax moth or anything, so that's, that's good. Good sign. So I think I'm going to do a little bit of reconfiguring of their space and reducing them down to three boxes. So I looked through the entire bottom box and didn't find a single frame of comb that they were using. There was one frame of comb that had a little bit of pollen on it. So I moved it up into the second box and moved the second box down to the first box. And there's a yellow jacket trying to steal some stuff here. We got some yellow jackets hanging out in front of the hive here and they're getting a little aggressive. Anyway, as I went through the frames, I did look through every single frame here because I was seeing some uh, problems with the brood. I saw a little bit of chill brood. Chill brood? What? I'm going to interrupt the inspection and explain. What I meant to say was chalk brood. What I was seeing was looked like a little bit like chalk brood. You know, the white mummified corpses of larvae and bees. But what I actually saw, I don't think is chalk brood. In fact, I was doing some research and looking up all possible causes of what I was seeing. And I couldn't find anything. I looked every possible disease. What I was seeing was the undeveloped or underdeveloped bees. Uh, probably looks like the cappings had been removed after they had been capped. In some cases I was seeing larvae that had stood up but were dried out. So looking like maybe they had been capped but then uncapped uh, and not yet removed from the cells. Also I saw almost fully developed adult bees but they were still white. The eyes hadn't turned black yet. Um, also uncapped. But I didn't see any major problems with them. The, everything that I was seeing was still white in color. I didn't see any really browns or tan. Nothing smelled bad and it wasn't, they weren't mummified yet like you would see in a chalk brood situation. So I'm not sure exactly what I was seeing. It didn't look like any kind of disease. So I'm thinking that maybe some yellow jackets got into the hive and started uncapping some of the brood, especially down the lower chambers. Once I got up into the upper chambers, I wasn't seeing this problem. So I'm hanging a yellow jacket trap closer to the hive, down low where all the yellow jackets are hanging around. I'm gonna add an entrance reducer, not right now because they're a little too active. I can't get the entrance reducer in there. So I'm gonna wait until nightfall when things calm down a little bit and they've tucked away. Uh, I'll put it in then. Um, and then I'll come back in a week or maybe two weeks and take another look inside and see if I'm seeing the problem again. I, but that really depends on the weather. If the temperatures are nice, then I'll, I'll get back in and take a look. Because I'd like to get the yellow jacket numbers down. One of the problems I was having during the inspection was that the yellow jackets here were getting really aggressive. And I didn't like having the hive open for very long. And I, I wanted to show on camera what I was seeing, but every time I tried to pause the, I'd get two or three yellow jackets all on that frame and it was really stressing out the bees and making me a little nervous. So I, I didn't spend as much time as I would like to have um, documenting what I was seeing. Um, so once I get the yellow jackets killed off in a little bit and so they're not quite as aggressive, then I'll get back in the hive and see if I can and get another better look to see if the problem has cleared up or if it's still there, get some better documentation of it. Now back to the inspection. I'm gonna go through the next two boxes 
and see if I see the same kind of problems. Um, if it looks like that problem is throughout the hive, then I'm going to, you know, uh, do a little research and see what I can do about that. Um, I haven't seen any uh, good looking brood yet. It's uh, just been kind of spotty. Uh, but down here is, it looked like it was older brood. Brood that was starting to hatch or, or emerge. Um, so we'll see if I can find some younger brood up in the upper boxes. So up into the third box is where I finally found some eggs. Looked like it, just the lower boxes just was older brood and they were hatching out and that's why I wasn't seeing what looked like a good pattern. It was spotty because the queen just wasn't down there laying yet. Um, but up in the third box I found a frame with eggs. I'll close up Beatrice now and move on to the next hive. Now I'm going to do an inspection on Queen Flora. Uh, this was a hive that I collected on April 27th. I rescued it from an RV. Did a cutout. It was my second time doing a cutout. It was a very big hive at the time. Even though it was a small cavity, they were preparing to swarm. They were just maybe three or four days away from swarming. Um, but they decided not to swarm after that I removed them and moved them into a larger cavity and may or may not have damaged the queen cells in the process. But the queen survived and they've been doing very well this summer. I was able to take some honey from them. They're weighing quite a bit now. Uh, I weighed them at 170 pounds, which means they've gained about 20 pounds in the past month, which is really weird because the main nectar flow is over now and it was over for most of August. So I don't know if they've been robbing the other hive or if they found some really good source of, of sugar or something um, because they, I, I didn't expect them to get um, another 20 pounds just in the past month. So I may take some honey from them and so I may take some honey from them uh, because they probably have more stores than they need but I'm going to take a look again I'll start on the bottom now when I installed them I tried doing an under supering method and that would mean I put an empty box underneath uh, to allow them to draw down the comb and they did that very well but half of the frames are cross comb where I can't get them apart. So I'm only going to be able to look at a couple of the frames in the bottom box and then I'm going to move up from there. But the population looks really good looking on the outside. They look very healthy. So I'm not expecting to see any problems but who knows what I'll find. Alright I looked through Queen Flora's hive and I started on the bottom box and they aren't really using the bottom box much similar to Queen Beatrice. But they are storing some pollen in there and the comb is not 100% empty. So I'm going to leave their bottom box the way it is and just leave it there. Uh, the second and the third box have brood and have a very good pattern. I saw eggs and young larvae as well as some cat brood. So the queen is doing really well here. They have a very good population as you can see in the video. Now the fourth box has mostly honey in it. They haven't filled out all ten frames. I was planning on taking some of the honey, but changed my mind because as I looked through the third box, I saw that there was still a lot of brood happening here, so I'm a little concerned that if I take honey, I won't be able to leave enough if I just drop them down to the three boxes, since they aren't using the bottom box very much. Since they are a pretty good population, I'm just going to leave them with four boxes. Um, and all of the honey that they've got right now. I'm not going to take any of it. Um, and then we'll see you know, how they look come spring. I'm at out yard number two now and I'm going to do an inspection on Queen Catherine. This is a hive that I rescued from a chicken coop and it was my first cutout. They've been doing very well at this location. They've gained a lot of weight. They're weighing at 161 pounds now. So that's uh, one of my biggest hives. The two biggest hives. The last one was um, Queen Flora and now uh, this one Queen Catherine. Um, I'm going to take a look through. I haven't gathered any honey yet this season from them but I'm going to see if there's any extra honey that they can uh, give up today and I'll look to see how well the Queen is laying. I haven't actually done a full inspection on them for quite a while. The past few times I've visited them I've just taken a peek inside just to see if they need more space and add a space as they needed it. Otherwise I've pretty much left them alone. Uh, this is uh, one of the hives that I'm testing out the quilt box on, so I'm going to see how well that quilt box is working, see if they've started chewing through the cloth or not. I'd like to put quilt box on all my hives this winter, so 
that's one thing, even though this is the last inspection for the season, I may be opening the other hives again in a couple more weeks just to put a quilt box on. So let's see how they're doing. The underside of the quilt box looks like it's in good condition. They've been doing a lot of propolizing on there. It's good. It's good. Very happy with how that's turning out. Instead of chewing through it, they're just applying propolis to it. It's down in the bottom box. Things are looking very good. They have brood down here. This is a hive that I tried under supering on, and meaning again putting an empty bottom, I'm putting an empty box on the on the bottom underneath where they were already building comb, and then the idea would be that they would build downward into the box. But they were re this hive was reluctant to build down into the first box. Um, So I, I kind of had to force them on, it on them by putting some frames down there with some drawn out comb. And they eventually filled it out nicely and now and the queen's been laying down in here. Unlike the other two hives, they are actually using this box. Alright, Queen Catherine is looking really good. The second box has a couple frames of honey and the third box is all honey. I took a couple frames from the fourth box and moved them down into the third box just to fill it out so it's all honey. I'm going to take the fourth box and all of the honey. I'm not going to harvest any of it. I'm just going to use it to feed some of the weaker hives to make sure that they have enough honey going into the winter. Such as the next hive, Queen Guinevere, is looking pretty light and, and low on stores um, after weighing them. Uh, so I'm going to be giving two or three frames of honey to some of the weaker colonies. Moving on to Queen Guinevere now. Can't see the hive very well because it's only two boxes high. This is a swarm that I caught on May 1st. I suspect that it was an after swarm from another hive in the neighborhood. I had caught two swarms in this neighborhood. This was the second one. So I suspect that the queen in this hive was a virgin queen either when I caught her or this year. So this is probably just her first year. And I've heard that the second year is when the queens really do their best. Uh, because this hive has not grown very much at all. Uh, each time I inspect it, the, they still haven't drawn out all 10 frames in the top box here. I, can, I bet I look today and they've only got 8 of the 10 drawn out. Uh, they're pretty light right now. They're only weighing in at 93 pounds. So I'm going to give them a little bit of honey, maybe one or two frames, depending on how many empty frames I find in here when I do the inspection. See, they've only got eight of these ten frames in this second box drawn out. These last two are completely empty. So I'll be putting in two frames of honey in the place. This is pretty heavy with honey. This tenth frame isn't drawn out either. You know what? Since that second box was so heavy, I am not going to give them any honey. They have um, enough honey for, I think, their size. This is the same colony that a couple weeks after hiving them from the swarm, I found a bee with the deformed wing virus. And I pulled out the bottom tray, the mite counting tray. I saw a lot of mites on there. Um, but since it was in for a couple of weeks, I don't really know how many mites, you know, what the standard mite count would be. But I don't bother doing mite counts because I don't do any treatment. To me, the only reason you would need to do a mite count is if you plan on treating, so you know if you need to treat and how you're going to treat them. So for me, it, you know, counting mites is just a, you know, an exercise in futility. I, I guess, you know, there would be some science behind wanting to know. So that if you do lose your bees to mites, you'll know how big of a mite load there was. But that's just too much work for me. I don't want to get into that kind of a process. Here's a brood frame with eggs. 
Looks good. Well, <clears throat> they're not weak by any means. They're just small, which is okay. We'll call this a well-fed nuke. Um, and I'll just let them overwinter as they are. With no additional help. I'm at yard number three now. I'm gonna visit Queen Dulce. This was a swarm that I caught, the first swarm of the season, April 24th. And it was a relatively smallish swarm, but they've been doing just fine as the season progressed. They've uh, built out to three boxes now. I don't think the third box is full. I just added it a month ago. And they haven't seemed to gain much weight since then, only about a pound. So they're weighing in at 123 pounds now, uh, which uh, is not bad. But, I, you know, they probably haven't filled that out yet. All right, looking down into the bottom box, they look um, pretty healthy. The upper boxes felt like they had good amount of honey in it as I lifted them off. It felt heavy. So I'm guessing I'm gonna find the brood down in this box. They're being very quiet. They're not getting me, giving me that rushing buzz noise that bees tend to do when I smoke them or disturb them. They're just really quiet. We've got eggs on this frame. Uh, you probably can't see it on camera, but uh, eggs in here and younger larvae and cap larvae up there. So that tells me that the queen is doing right. There's even a drone in here. Um, it's kind of strange. It's two drones. Kind of strange finding a drone this time of year. A couple drones right there. So they haven't exiled all the drones yet. Alright, up in the second box, things are looking good. They have a lot of honey in here. So I don't need to feed them any. Uh, there's still a little bit of brood up in the second box, which is great. Third box is just honey. There's about three frames drawn out. Um, but they started two others, so they've been working on five frames up here. So everything's looking good for Queen Dulce. Now Queen Elizabeth here, they were a swarm that moved into a bait box in my backyard on April 25th, the day after I caught uh, Dulce there. But they were a very small swarm um, and we're not growing really fast. And then I tried doing a trap out uh, at a house that really didn't work out the way I had hoped. Um, but I got some bees that I was able to combine with Queen Elizabeth here. And right after I combined, that little boost of bees really helped them explode. So these bees are no slouches. They're weighing in now at 125 pounds. So they weigh more than Queen Dulce, and they started out smaller. Uh, they have this top entrance here, this upper entrance here. They seem to really enjoy. They use it almost more than they use the lower entrance. So there may be something to uh, that round entrance. It uh, you know, mimics more of the natural holes that they like to uh, make their hives in, I suppose. <clears throat> I do need to come back and... Uh, either close up the bottom or close up that top so that they don't have too many entrances going through winter. Uh, I think I'll just close off that top one to help regulate the heat. I have a cork, I just forgot to bring it with me. <coughs> um, so they, they seem to be doing really well just from looking on the outside. I'm going to open them up and see how they're doing inside. Digging down into the bottom box, these girls are a little bit more on guard. I should have given them a little bit more smoke or a little bit more time with the smoke because I got my first sting of the day. Uh, my hand. Um, saw it coming too. Saw them coming at me. They warned me, but I didn't, I didn't react fast enough. It's a good looking brood pattern here. Lots of young larvae and capped larvae. 
things look good here. When I was hefting the upper boxes, they felt full of honey. So I think we've got a good honey stores and good, very big population of bees here. They really bounced back after being such a small swarm. But it looks like Queen Elizabeth is going to do well over winter. They seem to have enough food and enough bees. And they seem to be in good health. Everything smells good and looks good. Now I'm at out yard number four and I'm going to be inspecting Queen Helen. Now Queen Helen was a rescue that I uh, took out of a column outside a house. This was my third cutout and it went really well. Didn't see the queen during the cutout but found her a few days later in the, in the box uh, just fine. So don't know how that happened but she, she survived. And this hive has been doing very well at this location. Um, a few weeks ago I put on the uh, upper entrance. Turns out it uh, looks like they don't like it because they've propolized the whole thing up. It's just leaving a small hole. They don't even appear to be guarding it or using it. So I'll just be removing it today. Right now they're weighing 153 pounds and looks like they're going to be doing just fine. I'm just going to take a look through the hive. Uh, I'm sure they have enough food stores, but I want to take a look anyway. Take a look at the brood and see how that's doing. This is one of the problems with using an upper entrance as a, with a shim type of upper entrance is you're in the risk of them making this mess of burr comb up here. So I'm going to have to scrape all that down so after I take the shim off I can get the lid back on. So I went through all of Queen Helen's boxes and everything looked great. Uh, There's actually a lot more on honey in here than I expected. In fact, honey was going down all the way to the first box. Um, I did find some brood. It isn't a whole lot, but it was looking good, that that I found. Um, so they look good. They're ready to be tucked in for the winter. I'm not worried about them. They should do really, really well. All right, I'm going to inspect Queen Isabella now. Uh, this was the fourth cutout I did. And this was on June 1st. Got it out of the attic of the townhome. And they didn't do too well after the cutout. A lot of them died in the cutout process. I don't know if it was just because they were already weak or if it was the BVAC that killed them. Uh, the, the BVAC worked okay for some of the other cutouts without any problems. Um, they had problems with wax moth later after, after I did some inspections. Found a lot of wax moth in there. Removed some extra comb that they weren't using just to reduce the amount of wax moth in the hive. And they were only about using about 50% of the frames in there. Um, but it was a little more than a one box, so I kept it at two boxes and, and just kind of kept the frames towards the center with the comb. Put on a reducer and hoped that they would do well. Today I'm going to give them a couple frames of honey and just to give them a little bit of help through the winter. But let's take a look inside and see what they've done since then. They don't seem to be hurting too much. They seem healthy. I see a lot of activity out in the front. Um, they're just small at the moment. So they're still pretty small, but they're looking good. Um, it doesn't smell as bad as it used to. It just used to smell like the attic that I pulled them out of. But now it's not that bad. Another piece of comb here that they have seemed to have abandoned. Um, I'll leave it though. A little bit of honey here. That's mostly honey. This is a good looking frame of brood. So the queen is still doing her thing. And no real problems there. They just aren't growing very fast right now. I'm gonna add in the two frames of honey that I brought before these, this honey gets too much attention from other bees and yellow jackets.
let them have that for the winter. I'm not going to go any deeper than that. Just let them do their thing. Alright, I'm at yard number five, the last stop of the day with uh, Queen Jezebel's hive. This is the hive that was my last swarm, the biggest swarm, and the one that stung me the most. I took about 10 to 15 stings on the arm when a chunk of the bees fell off or broke off the main cluster and landed on me when I was shaking them out of the tree. I've only had them since June 24th and they've grown quite a bit. I'm going to take a look inside, see how much they've grown just in the past month since the last inspection. Last month I added a third box and they've actually gained quite a bit of weight. So now they're weighing in at 95 pounds which is about 15 pounds more than the last time that I weighed them. So I went through all of Queen Jezebel's uh, boxes here and everything looks good. The bottom box they aren't using too much. It's like some of the other hives. There's uh, comb in there but it's, it's empty. A lot of bees down there and they're clustering down there. Uh, so they are using the space. Um, but since there are so many bees in here, I'm not going to remove that box. I'm going to leave it for them to cluster on. Um, the second box has brood and some honey. And then the third box here is a lot of honey. Uh, there's a couple frames at the ends that don't have any drawn out comb yet. But they've loaded it up with honey and they're really good to go. I think they're going to do really well over winter. Um, they're very strong and industrious and they seem to be finding good supplies of food even uh, during this dearth of August.